Good day, we have this another video that may help some of our beginner ETL friends regarding our bridge navigational equipment. Maybe you already encountered this error, EPFS, on some of your navigational equipment. But first, let me ask you, what does radar? At this, GMDSS equipments, Echo Sounder, BDR, AIS, and the BHF had in common. And yes, you all get it right, they are all connected to the DGPS. Well, the DGPS is one of the important equipment in the bridge, simply because it tells us our exact positions in terms of latitude and longitude and of course they need to communicate with the other equipment and they do this with the use of NIMEA standard or the National Marine Electronics Association standard data format so obviously if you have any issue regarding the EPFS in any of the bridge equipment it will only lead to one equipment on board which is the DGPS make sure you can always check your manuals regarding this error like this manual for the radar it shows the EPFS so you can begin your troubleshooting with the first equipment you had in mind which is the DGPS main unit then after that you can check also the antenna or the output data cord and the distribution or the multi distributor or maybe you can have the trouble is from the output buffer well the function of this output buffers and multi distributor is simply to multiply the signal coming from the DGPS to be distributed to the other components like what I said such as this the radars and other equipments that receive signals from the DGPS such as GMDSS equipments VHF radios you can also check the settings for the different outputs of the DGPS using this Instruction. Just go to the input and output and check for the sentence where you can see the sentence has activated for this output for the specified equipment. For example, in the data one, this is the sentence that it should receive because sometimes. You may need to use the spare slots, output data slots in the back of the DGPS. You might not just need to copy the settings for that particular sentence. Just check your manuals on how to do this. Or maybe you can also change the slots in the multi distributor if you have a spare, or in the slots in the output buffer where the equipment that having an issue is connected just be careful with the polarity in changing the slots DGPS has only two output wires and maybe sometimes you may need to check its continuity if it is good or not so that's all I hope you learned something from this video regarding the EPFS error in the equipments that we are handling in the bridge and help you to become more confident in your troubleshootings. Thank you, this is Mark from the Algemer and Action signing off.